Hi again. Today we're going to look at how you can go a little bit more granular with your funnel analysis. In the last video, we created a simple funnel for an e-commerce data set looking at how many users went from sign up completed to purchase completed within one session. And we want to view this data uh, across all of our UTM campaigns that were running for the last 30 days. As you can see from this visualization, um, the campaign that performed the best is the discount code campaign copied, uh, followed by the friends campaign. But what if you wanted to represent this data differently? You have the ability to look at this data in a different visualization where you can perhaps look at this, for example, as a, as a bar. And you can also compare this to a previous period in time. So let's say you want to understand how the campaigns have been performing and how this is become better or worse compared to the previous month. You can visualize this as a metric to actually show which of the campaigns are having the most positive or the most negative lift uh, in terms of how they've performed this month compared to the previous month. What else can you do with Mixpanel? So you can actually represent this data differently by going back into your conversion criteria. So today we are looking at the total conversions but another way of representing this data is also by looking at the unique users who have actually based on which campaign that they were a part of. Or you can even look at the average time to convert for users um, comparing the campaigns. So in a time to convert, there are different ways in which you can measure this. But you can look at, say, an average time to convert. Or you could even look at a median, for example, which, re which is represented as a line to understand if there's a trend um, uh, that you want to be aware of. Finally, another interesting thing that you can do um, as a part of your analysis is you can do a frequency analysis by going into the breakdown and looking at what we call frequency per user. So for example, maybe your, your question is, how many times do my users actually view a product before completing a purchase? In this case, because this is step two and three, I would look at what is the frequency per user for users viewing a product between step two and three. And Mixpanel will actually show you a distribution of how many times the users actually look at your products before making up their mind and making a purchase. Like our other reports, you are able to save this report by giving it a name, saving it to a board, and you can also export this data or set up an alert for future action. Thank you.